Cast Iron Wednesday. No, we're not cooking in that little pan today. We're cooking in the Camp Made 12 inch Dutch oven. We're up here at the yurt. Yes, we're in an off grid location, wilderness location. Um, tonight, what we're going to be preparing in the Dutch oven is a one and a half pound lobster tail. Mmm, it's going to be good. My wife's preparing a couple sides to go along with that. So right now what we want to do is get these coals heated up. Hey, Gina, what do you got there? A pound and a half lobster tail. Here's what our one and a half pound lobster looks like. All seasoned and everything. So it's looking good. So we're going to be putting that on right now. And the kind of liner I'm using right here um, can't make, make these liners. What you're gonna do is just push the tinfoil out just a little bit on the outside. Um, it makes it for a real easy cleanup as well. The lid basically just smashes down right on your liner like that. So we're ready. Um, we'll let this go for um, 15 minutes to 30 minutes. Um, I got a couple of these coals that aren't quite going yet, but um, eventually those will be going. Um, I'll be cooking this on 400 degrees. Twenty twenty at the yurt. Isn't it cool? It's some kind of deer or something. I've been hearing it. It hasn't come out of the bushes yet. I hear it walking around. Right yeah, there. it's looking for berries or something.
Gina, what do we got going on here? Bacon wrap pinwheels. Ooh, those are looking good. I like the bacon effect on those. Mm -hmm. Good. Now inside the year, what's in here, folks? Asparagus. Heck yeah, that's looking good. So those are, what, two of our sides? You got one more? Or? I'm making smashed potatoes. Sour cream, butter, smashed potatoes. Smashed potatoes, folks. So the coals have been going pretty good for about 10 minutes. I just want to check it real quick. See how everything's gone. Oh yeah, look at the steam rise out of there. You know that's cooking good. That's nice and hot. Smelling good. Lobster should be done now. Um, my timer this went off. So we're gonna check this out. Look for steam. Oh yeah, it's steaming good. It's steaming real good. The lobster looks like it's pretty much done. I know you guys are gonna wanna see that lobster on a plate. So definitely, and then get my tongs out for this one because it's steaming. Look at this beautiful looking lobster right here. Just beautiful. Let me put this on the plate. Look at that goodness right there. So I'll bring I'll bring this one in the house right now. My wife's got all the sides. We'll dish out all the sides. Split this one and a half pound lobster in half and enjoy it. Stick around for the taste test. Now look at this. Here's my plate. Here's my wife's plate. Look at the lobster. It's quality. Cooked to a tea, basically. Perfect. So we got the garlic bread, we got the pinwheels, mashed potatoes, is that what you're calling them? Smashed. Smashed potatoes, asparagus, and of course, the lobster. Yes, the lobster. So we got the lemon right here, right babe? Mm-hmm. Let's put some of this on there. A lot of lemon. You got your melted butter. Melted butter. Mm, what do I got? You got your champagne and everything? Yep. Yeah. So I got my beer. Cheers. Cheers, honey. Cheers. Excellent beer. I like this one. Oh, we didn't take Cheers, YouTube. I'm going to cut off a little piece of my lobster and give it a taste. Get some more butter on there. Now this is the first time I cook this in the Dutch oven. Usually I barbecue it, an open fire pit, what have you. Oh. And this is the way to go. What have we been doing all these years, honey? <laughs> the Dutch oven is the way to go. Dutch oven cooking. Oh my God. Now the pinwheel's full of steak, by the way, with bacon. My wife prepared all this. So I do want to try a little sample. Get a little bit of bacon on there. And... We're having fun at the yard, aren't we? Oh, yeah. We got shots for later and everything. Yep. Mmm. Just awesome, baby girl. Thanks. You did a really good job. Mm-hmm. So if you haven't tried lobster in the Dutch oven, I highly urge you guys to... Prepare it in your Dutch oven. It's just the way to go. It really has a nice steam flavor to it. And that's all I have to say. <laughs> Thanks for tuning into the channel. My name's Justin. I'm Jana. You're watching Survival Mindset. We'll see you on the next one.